you know what? I'm actually 50 50 now between City and Arsenal. No. 50 50. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Hello football fans, it's the dugout, we're back, it's a momentous occasion because it's about two weeks away from the World Cup, not only that, we've got a new guest on the show, Cam is standing in for Luke, welcome Cam, first, first time on the show, thanks for having me mate, first time on a podcast or anything like this, I isn't believe it? so yeah, you nervous, debut, you know, but I'm a little bit nervous, but have you had a haircut for it. You're looking sharp. I've had a haircut, not well, speci recent. not specifically for the dugout. That's that's good because Luke usually turns up looking like shit. Yeah, no, I can't argue. <laughs> I, can't, I actually can't disagree with that at yeah. all. To be fair, but yeah, so Luke is in Zanzibar. Luke's in Zanzibar of all places, which I Tanzania. It's, it's in Tanzania. Is it the yeah. capital? Uh, I would assume so. I don't actually know, but I would. I would. I would hazard a well, guess, yeah. You think so because you just don't know any other places in Tanzania? Oh, I couldn't tell you another single city in Tanzania. So Matt Kilimanjaro is in Tanzania, I think. I'm pretty sure. I We've been gone for a couple of weeks. I've been in Chicago and then come back and Luke's gone to Zanzibar. So hence why Cam is here. We do value Cam. He's not just a sub. What were you doing in Chicago? Just chilling, mate. Yeah. Girlfriend was there for work, so I tagged along. Yeah. She was there nine to five. I just played golf. But the plane home is a nightmare, honestly. I'm not that good at flying. <clears throat> it's just nine, hour, eight hours, nine hours. Just cr just cramped into thing. I downloaded loads of um, Gangs of London okay. onto Sky Go. Have you ever watched it? I've never watched it. Sick. Well, Recommend, yeah? 100%. Okay. And I got to like episode five and the rest of them hadn't downloaded, so I was <laughs> another five hours with nothing to do. What are they? What, 45 minute apps? Yeah, and then I started um, playing the games on the back of the city. <laughs> on the thing okay. so you get on like a long haul flight and we had who wants to be a millionaire on there yeah I was shocking I got to like 32 grand like five times just couldn't get past it but just check out just take the money no you couldn't on the game well, and also why do you want to do that you want to win it well if you're failing every time I'd, r I'd leave with a virtual 32,000 pound thank you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you very much spend it on in flight snacks and then be like, sorry love can I no, get that there was do you know the beers they do and they only do like the small Heinekens I'd be like can I no they do, they do free drinks on the flight all the way okay yeah I've brew never, dog never had a, as good a flight or as long a flight as you then really clearly. you never left the UK have you I just go to Mallorca I was in Mag <laughs> <laughs> I was in Magaluf about three weeks ago so no. that's slightly different was it a bit cold nah well when was it like 10th of September I was in Magaluf decent Solid. Doing what? That's a, what you mean doing what? Drinking. Yeah, fair enough. That's Pretty the difference in seeing, holidays. Seeing, that, 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 seeing the sights. Seeing the sights of uh, of Mallorca, yeah. That's yeah. the difference between Luke going to Zanzibar, you going to Chicago. I was on I was on the Magaluf Strip, mate. Yeah, but don't don't you just come back and feel less refreshed? Uh I yeah. No, it wasn't it it <laughs> you, you come back and you need another holiday basically. Yeah, that's true. Like, because it's not relaxing, like in any sense of the imagination. You are up at whatever time <laughs> drinking cerveza drinking beer all day cerveza cerveza is that beer cerveza <laughs> so it's all i learned out there uno dropping mas. knowledge on uno, the first first few minutes of the podcast mas, per favor. but um two weeks to the world cup yeah you excited i am excited yeah See, i'm so, not so i've had this discussion so many times over even like the last year and people saying oh, it's going to be like it's not going <laughs> to be good it's going to be crap etc don't don't get me wrong i don't think it will compare to a summer world cup yeah because like the last few tournaments england have had specifically have been like very good as well obviously a final and a semi-final it won't it won't compare to that but it's still going to be good it's still just football every day for three yeah. weeks i like, think i'm comparing it to do you remember in covid when the masters was in november yeah and it was just shit yeah i, I mean, think it's gonna be like that but another thing we saw today set blatter came out <laughs> <laughs> the guy who awarded Qatar yeah. with the World Cup like 12 years ago or whatever and he said that they shouldn't have got it it's like yeah. you fucking did it mate yeah it's like he's not in position of power now is he so it's no, just far no, too but, little but too late like that, how the hell is he not in prison <laughs> but what, what what have they got what have they actually like got on him I, I, he's been he got caught sending like like 1.7 million to Platini his bank account or something i don't i should have i should have um brushed little, up my knowledge. Had a little look yeah but there's that doc coming out on netflix tomorrow about yes. corruption in fifa which is gonna yeah. be good which hopefully we'll learn a bit more perfect timing but yeah how the fuck is it in qatar <laughs> like i don't like it's like i think england were going for it as well like the uk were going for it as well I at the time think. and it's like imagine the, imagine the bidding process like you've got uk there like yeah give us the world cup we've got a ma massive football league 
We've got loads of fans already in the country. The infrastructure's there. We've, we've got, got like t- 20 airports. 20 stadiums. We've got all the stadiums. <laughs> we've got all the stadiums. Mate, half of the... S- there was cities which are hosting games which didn't exist when it was awarded. Yeah, like this, yeah, they, yeah. They were like, we're going to... Like, this is going to be a venue. This is going to be a venue. And this is going to be a yeah, venue. Yeah. And they were like, where is this place? They were like, oh, we just made it up. Yeah, we'll like just it's, it's not a real place yet. We're just going to make a place. It yeah. didn't exist, mate. And it's like, yeah, but the English want to be like, yeah, look, no one will die building a stadium because <laughs> they're already built. <laughs> they're, they're built already, It's a yeah. massive, like, you know, bonus. <laughs> no one dies. Then you've got a load of, um, I'd say, public figures coming out saying, oh, we shouldn't be supporting the World Cup. A lot of politicians saying, oh, I can't believe the World Cup. They should boycott it. It's like, no, you can't say this now. Why are you yeah. saying it now? When you there just was said it like 10 years ago. When there was an opportunity where something could be done about it, yeah, yeah. nothing was said. It was silence. Well, no, pe- people like didn't necessarily agree, but no action was was taken. Well, no action still being done now. I think the only there's, action there's is like... There's a few like, protests. The Germany, the Germany done some good protests. The German fans are just different level to English fans as well. They've they've had a lot of banners what, and stuff. What, oh, really? Like boycotting it. I haven't the, really seen one. And then and then there was a... I don't know if you've seen the... You know, but do you know why that is? Because Germany have won the World Cup recently, so they don't yeah, really they care. Don't care. Yeah, They'll yeah, happily yeah. boycott. If the t- German, team, German team came out and boycotted the World Cup now, German fans would be like, yeah, yeah, fair enough. No, the, 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 the players themselves will never happen. No, the, no, the players are not boycotting. And the, also, the World like, Cup. it's like, oh, to, we're going to wear a rainbow armband in the World Cup, <laughs> which is like, look, I'm all, for, I'm all for that. But what does that do now? Uh, you should have highlighted that this years ago. I like, mean, they, they do. If, if you really, if they really had a problem with it, it's, it's just a bit sort of flimsy. Yeah, I in mean, my the, eyes. the rain, the rainbow armbands and rainbow laces and stuff that's been ongoing for. For, for a long for quite a while anyway in the Premier League players players wear armbands rainbow armbands anyway don't they but like mm. have have Qatar basically said that, you, that they're not supposed to wear these armbands during the World Cup because I know England yeah have they said did they came out and Eng- said you've got to respect our look. and oh and the guy England and Wales have both said they're doing it though haven't they yeah I'm pretty sure a few countries are and then Denmark refused to put like any sponsorship on their kit or something yeah. or whatever but um yeah I think so well Sepp Blatter got fired in the end I think because that everyone just knew is dodgy. You have been fired from a job. Uh, I have been fired from a job. Yeah, <laughs> Why? yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on here. I called a, a director. I was about a month into the job. Yeah. And we went out on just like a drinking <laughs> activity. And this guy, this guy was. Bearing in mind, I'm early in this job. Yeah, so I'm not going to be like walking around like saying this, that, and the other. This guy was a, a wanker. This director. Yeah. And at the end of the night, I called him a wanker. And then the what, in in with with venom, oh, I can't remember. I said it. I was drinking. Uh, came in on the Monday. And apparently, I was no longer employed by them. Well, they they get let you come into the office. Yeah, no, I, I did the full day as well. I did the full day of work as well. About I don't know, like maybe an hour before <laughs> the end of the day. It was like Cameron's mind just popping in here. <laughs> and at that stage, up. he's made you look well, like the wanker. Yeah, no one said no, <laughs> no one, no one said anything. Obviously, to me all day, or anyone like in a position of a position of power. Like obviously, my That's team unreal. was speaking to me. He's thinking, who's the wanker? And then he now? was like, he was like Cameron coming in. <laughs> he was like Cameron coming in. At that stage, I was like, oh, I'm getting called out for this here, aren't I? Yeah. But I was expecting to be called out, not to be. Um, yeah. I had one. I was working at a pub in Brighton. Yeah. And I was like, I'd done a couple. I've done a couple of dodgy things. I like just having a few few beers behind the bar and shouldn't have been so I was on I was on like my third warning yeah, anyway. yeah. and then we was having a really long day like I think it was a Sunday roast day so it was hectic <laughs> and then um this uh, this old bloke come to the bar to complain he was like I've got a complaint to make and I was like what about you or no he was uh, he was like the toilets um, his complaint <laughs> was uh the toilets smell of urine no no, no and shit. So I just couldn't be I was like why are you sniffing the toilets and then he complained about me and then I yeah fired. I, the you, his complaint to you is valid. Yeah, but you why? Can't, you can't, you can't start. Well, that's that's the the smell customer. of we, obviously, but they're you, toilets. And also, you'd rather they smell of urine than smell of shit, wouldn't you? So, <laughs> yeah. But if, if, yeah, but so there's no complaint to make. Yeah, it's, you're in a toilet. Yeah. In a pub. Yeah. It's not like, yeah, in a <laughs> pub as well. Like, it's not a hotel, mate. But things are, uh, yeah, yeah, things yeah. happen in pub toilets. Yeah. <laughs> so, Champions League draw this week. What do you think? Any hype? Spurs fan? So, yeah. what do you yeah. think about that, mate? Scrape through. I know you won the. I know you won against top, Marseille. Top of the group, mate. Marseille yeah. was like the Arsenal charity shop. Yeah, honestly. like fully. It was. It was full of like players who have like not vendetta. It's the wrong word, but they've got yeah. like rivalries with Spurs. So you had Eric Bailly, Bailly, yeah, at centre half. Paye, your your boy, 
Um, Those, and, they don't have rivals with Spurs. Those two. No, but like they, they've got like reasons. Like they've played they, against they Spurs. Know, like they, they know they, Spurs. They'd love, to, they'd love to knock them out, basically. Yeah, Gwendouzi. But look, we, we topped the group. We've done what was asked of us. You're missing out. They had Gwendouzi, Sanchez. Uh, yeah, Kalasanak, who actually, yeah, yeah. actually Kalasanak could have sent you out, who mate. actually sent us through this in the I mean, end. You were a whisker away from losing. If his head yeah. was an inch to the no, right. No, I mean, so the, the draw, the draw got us through anyway. Yeah. But obviously, he had the opportunity to to put you to, to put to put Marseille up again. But that first half from Spurs against Marseille was maybe the worst forty-five minutes of football I've ever seen. But that's yeah, but that um, I think that about Spurs every week when I watch them. Yeah. They just don't. They just don't turn up till the second half. It's weird, but we're obviously not setting up like that. Conte, I know Conte is like a five at the back coach, yeah. But there's no way he's going. Tell you what, lads, just let Marseille batter you for forty-five minutes. This, this will work. This will work. Like, there's no way he's setting up like that. What you think he's trying to get? You, it's sort of, the, the players <laughs> he's trying to get him to run out of energy. The players yeah. obviously <laughs> just. The players obviously just can't get it going. Yeah, because I think Kane came out and said the other day as well. He was like, we just, we struggle to get going oh, in the first yeah, half. Yeah, but like I look, I look at Spurs lineup, and it's like nine defenders and Kane like yeah. genuinely the other day against Liverpool it was five at the back Perisic three like CDMs yeah, yeah. Perisic who's been playing left back so I call that nine defenders including the goal no ten including the goalkeeper and then Kane no you're right yeah no like so you're, you're not going to enjoy I, watching I, that I, I don't I don't have an argument but when we've got no Kulisevsky no Richarlison no Son yeah yeah there, there's there's not much you can do Emerson who's the least attacking right wing back on the, on the <laughs> Emerson, planet Emerson by the way <laughs> Mate, unreal to watch from a, if, you're not a, if you're not a Spurs fan I love him he's like, unreal like, not as a footballer as a bloke he's, he's like, a top bloke he's yeah, like but he's a def- terrible footballer he's like the defending mm. version of Darwin Nunes <laughs> you yeah, just don't know what's going to happen when he's chaos. Ball, yeah. you know when he got sent off obviously it was a few weeks back now but against uh, Arsenal Yeah. and obviously he was suspended for however many games it was in the Premier League and he does these little like videos yeah, before yeah, games yeah, yeah. and so obviously he was suspended for a couple of games but we had a I think it was Frankfurt away like the Champions League game that week and he puts um, he puts his little Instagram clip up of him like, like just dancing <laughs> around dancing around and stuff yeah <laughs> At the moment, 60,000, well, more than 60,000, every Spurs fan at this stage hates him yeah, yeah. because he's just got sent off. It didn't actually cost us the derby, but fans will say it cost us the derby. And then he does that two days later, and there was just outrage on Tottenham Twitter. Outrage. It's it was ridiculous. I love it. But it, it hasn't stopped him, though. Good on him. No, look, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. As a player, he's, he's no good, yeah. But as yeah. a bloke, as a person, I've got a lot of love for Emerson. So you've got Milan, yes. Champions League throwback to yeah what you reckon winning that I think over two legs we can win that yeah. I think you can I think the the main thing for us at the moment is that the first legs in February well both the legs are in oh, February it's ages away isn't it yeah so after the World Cup after a January transfer window where Conte and Levy I reckon they'll they'll do something like they have to because like our performances have been okay very mediocre and then, I think we'll win that okay so the rest of the draw we've got Arsenal who have they got in Champions League who do Arsenal have in the Champions League? Have they, yeah, who have they? No? 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 Pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> Dortmund, Chelsea, that's a big one. That interesting one, mate. Interesting one. I think both of them teams are in just like weird positions, aren't I they? I think Potter is just sort of, he's got a fade, he's grown his beard, and he yeah. thinks he's like a world class manager now. No, nah, I don't he's doubt. He's got a lot to do. He's I got don't, a lot to do. He's got a lot to do, but that's just where he was kind of left. Like Tuchel was doing no different. He's, Tuchel's got sacked yeah, for that they same They haven't reason. improved, but they haven't gone backwards. They're sort of the same, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're the exact same. If you look at their squad and players that they love, they've like brought in over the last like year, two years, who's done well? Yeah. Who's done well? Yeah, no one really. Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva. Yeah, that is, Thiago Silva is the only one that I'd actually give him Havertz. <coughs> it's just been a, a disappointment from start to finish. Yeah, Chilwell's been injured the whole time. Chilwell, yeah, I mean, Chilwell's a good player, but he's I've been no, injured. I wouldn't say Havertz's been disappointed from start to finish. Well, I mean, goal scored. in the Champions League final. That's <laughs> okay, well, that's there rogue, was a, rogue a, a 90 minute cameo. Like, he'll go down in the history books for Chelsea, but I can guarantee you none of them are happy with his performances week in, week yeah. out. No, definitely not. He seems to be like a lot of the academy boys for them. Yeah. Just putting them through a bit. But then you've got Reece James injured, but he'll obviously be back for that. Um, we'll talk about the World Cup later. Yeah, I, th- so. I think I think Chelsea. Look, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea will should. always Chelsea will always come good. I think Chelsea should easily win this. I think. Yeah, I I think they'll beat Dortmund. Liverpool draw Madrid. I've got a question for you. Has one team ever bullied another team so much? No, that's that was the first thing. I, no is the answer. <laughs> to that. No is the answer to that question. That was the first thing I was going to say. Liverpool must be sick to death yeah, of playing Madrid, Madrid, mate. 
Flow just, they must be sick of you. And you know, it's the, who's the Madrid president? Perez. Perez. He, he said came about last the Super year and said, We need yeah. the Super League because Liverpool have only played Real Madrid like four times in the last 20 years. But go on then. Here four, you go. Four, four in the last <laughs> Play six. Again, mate. Four in the last six <laughs> now. Two final losses. Yeah, yeah. He still they thinks that's going to happen as well. They must be sick. He's, he's wants that to happen. He's building. Super League. Yeah, yeah. He's still, still going on about it, mate. There's, I, it's, it's not happening. I think it will eventually. Give it 10 years. In, in 10 years? Yeah, yeah. It the Super happen. League will have happened. It's like live golf. It's got to happen. <laughs> it will happen, mate. I promise you. I, I don't We'll think come so. back here in 10 years when we've got 80 million yeah, subscribers. Clip, yeah, clip this. <laughs> clip, clip this. <laughs> years. Yeah, Madrid are winning that. L- Liverpool, L- Liverpool L- have not, they've always got a chance because of Anfield, but I reckon Madrid will just come to Anfield and batter them. The way Liverpool, they've been playing this season. Liverpool's, and Liverpool. form, Liverpool's form in the Champions League has like been different to how they've been playing in the Premier League. Yeah, I, I'd lean towards Real Madrid. Yeah. Mm. Liverpool, oh, yeah, I mean, Liverpool, of course they could beat them, but uh, Madrid are strong favourites for me. Definitely. Man City, Leipzig, um, three things in life. <laughs> Death, taxes, and Man City getting an easy draw. Yeah. Oh, it's, 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 it makes a change from playing Shakhtar. I thought they were getting Porto. They usually get Shakhtar. I know, Porto awful. come top, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah they usually get... Shakhtar? They Shakhtar always get Shakhtar. They always play Shakhtar or Zenit. In the, in the last like 16. Every, like every year they play Zenit. Yeah. No, I think it's... it's it's just a, it's a gimme round again yeah like Leipzig, Leipzig are a good side but over two in a one off game Leipzig could turn them over but in a two legged game City will it's yeah. not even far away we, it's like a three hour flight two and a half hour we, flight I was hoping for a City PSG like realistically yeah that's that was the dream I hate PSG I hate everything they stand that's like it's, it's, that's like the, the oil club or the state owned club El Cash El Cash El Cash yeah Wait until Newcastle are in it next year, mate. That's going to be huge. Yeah, that'll be <laughs> <big>. <laughs> That's going to be huge, mate. That will be big. No, but uh, yeah, C- City Leipzig, that's a gimme game yeah. for City, I think. Yeah. Okay, so Premier League, look back at the weekend. What a weekend of Premier League football again. Yeah. Had everything, ton of goals, dodgy VAR decisions. Red Where are we going to start? Red cards, yeah. Uh, can we start, please, with um, Aston Villa, Manchester United? Yeah, go for And it. not even specifically because I want to, well, I kind of want to watch you dig out Man United, but. I'm not going to dig out anyone. Unai Emery is who I want to talk about. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. First of all, what an upgrade yeah. from Steven Gerrard. <laughs> yeah, Steven Gerrard <laughs> to Emery. And he's shown it in one game. He, mate, he's, he's a world class manager, genuinely. Gerard didn't know what he was doing. Gerard had like, no, no idea. What he, he was obviously doing. did. How like obviously the, the squad the is really the good. The squad's good. Yeah, I, I actually have no doubt that Gerard, over time, will probably become a very good manager. Do you reckon? They, do you reckon the players just didn't like him? I think the players didn't like him. The fans hated him. Really? Because he used to just get like proper aggy in um in like press conferences and stuff, mm. and I'd see just people just being like, I've never hate oh, Villa fans like replying to Sky Sports or whatever, just saying, I've never hated a, a villa manager like ever i don't this think much. i don't think gerard is used to like people he's idolized that he's idolized yeah he's, he was idolized at rangers because he'd won the league for the first I time think in 10 through years his whole his playing career Liverpool, it's just obviously. been everyone's been talking up to him like yeah. god yeah yeah no, and, 100%. and now he's just sort of people are pressuring him they're asking him difficult questions and i, but, I don't think he, and he crumbled yeah but give what, him a few years and he'll be able to respond to those questions like but, without getting aggy yeah emery just what a signing like he's a, yeah. I genuinely think he's a world class manager yeah. he got to got to semis of the Champions League last year won the Europa League four times I think <laughs> on the bounce isn't it on the, the, well, three well, times on the bounce beat United yeah. with Villarreal and then yeah. Sevilla um, yeah just what a signing yeah. he could turn them around massively I think why has he gone to Villa yeah why is he, why I don't know yeah. money was he in the was he, he was in the Villarreal money, job money, still, I, don't, I can't imagine money would come into it like, I imagine he's a really very rich man Villa, Villa are a big. Don't get me wrong. Villa are a big side. Yeah. Like they're like they're they're big. Yeah, big club rather than big side big maybe. Side. They're all like six foot yeah, five. All, Taro Mings, mate. <laughs> Mings and Ronaldo as well. By the way, having a scrap. What yeah, was that yeah. About? It's embarrassing. Mings would Mings would eat him alive. Yeah. But um. Like proper. United. It's not going to change, is it? Nothing's going to change. I think. Oh, and guess who's the captain for that game? <laughs> Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Yeah. 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 Well, does he need to pack it in? Does he need to call it a day? Do you think? Nah, no way to call it a day. But I think he needs to get out of United. He can't be the skipper, and I think he should have left but in how, the summer. How's he gone? Two weeks ago, he stormed off. And he's captain. He refused to come on. So, who, so how's he is, gone from that to that? So who is club captain at the moment? I Maguire. Uh, Maguire, of it's course. Maguire, but yeah, Maguire. Yeah, Maguire. So Fernandez wasn't playing. De Gea must be sitting there going, what have I got to do to get an armband? He's been there 12 years or whatever. Has he been? Yeah, yeah. 
I'm pretty sure he was club captain at one stage, no? I don't think so. No? He's worn the armband, armband multiple times. The armband. The armband. <laughs> the armband. <laughs> no, but... but um, um, Ronaldo... It's not nah. looking good, bro. It's not looking good. <laughs> I think he just needs to go out there and just go to like MLS. But he, he tried to, didn't he? But Ten Hag didn't want him. But didn't want him to, didn't sorry. Want him to go. Didn't, didn't want him to go. Also, yeah. United, um, they didn't have Bruno. Yeah, but the thing is, I know, I know a couple of United fans there who, when Bruno's playing, they moan about Bruno. Yeah, yeah. Saying how wasteful he is on the ball, how this, that, he doesn't affect the game, doesn't do this, doesn't do that. Bruno wasn't playing, and I'm seeing the same people yeah. talking about, oh, we didn't have Bruno. Or so? No, but here's the difference that you, like between United and City. Yeah. If City don't have Bernardo Silva. Oh, they bring in any other. Yeah, they're just bringing bring in any other player, yeah. De Bruyne, M- McTominay, Mahrez, McTominay, Grealish. McTominay came in because yeah. Bruno, Bruno <laughs> yeah, was playing. Yeah, and that's it's just a huge, the, the level is like, they just don't, I feel like they think the players are like world class because to be yeah. at United, you should be on that the level, you should yeah. be like a superstar, right? A, and, they're, and they're just not, a, yeah, lot, a like, lot of them. I'm, like, I'm, a Mc, I'm a McTominay fan because he plays for Scotland and my family, some of my family is Scottish, yeah. yeah. But like, if any other era he does not get anywhere near a Manchester United team. No. He'd have been the Robbie Savage of the class of 92. Like, he just yeah, would have yeah, been yeah. the first one like out the door kind of thing. Yeah. No, I don't, I th- he's obviously a very good player, but... Not, he's not United. I th- yeah, but I feel like if he'd come through the City Academy and he was now playing the City team, we'd all be heralding him as an amazing player, do you not think? No. Yeah, but do you think if Foden was in the yeah, United Foden team... Foden and McTominay just... But if Foden was okay. in the United team and it comes from the United Academy, yeah. what do you reckon you'd be saying about Foden right now? But, but would he have developed in the same way, playing next to... Let's just like, let's just swap them. What McTominay and right Foden? now McTominay and Foden. I reckon in a season long time you'd have people saying Foden's this, Foden's that, and then they'd be praising McTominay for being such a great pass with the ball <laughs> when he's not under any pressure because his team's like worth like a billion pounds. Or whenever he's in trouble, just whip it, fizz it into De Bruyne and yeah, just yeah, let exactly. him do something. Exactly. And then he'll just be like like assisted the assist be, and stuff. Yeah, be fine. Or just chuck it. Over yeah, to no, right I get back. I get that. People's views are like distorted, depend on how well the team's doing and who they're yeah. playing for, but. There's levels. There is, and there is levels. Is. Another big game for the weekend. Yeah. Arsenal, Chelsea. Yeah. What are we saying? Look, Arsenal are impressive, I can't lie. That's hurting you to say that, isn't yeah. it? That's no, pain. They're, yeah. Look, <laughs> they're, they're, first of all, Chelsea are a mess. We kind of touched on it in the yeah. Champions League. Chelsea in a bit of like a little spot of bother at the moment. But uh, yeah, no, Arsenal look good. Arsenal do look good. Thir- what are we, 13 games in? Do you know what I am loving? The demise of Aubameyang. Yeah. I mean... The public... The, the BT advert Device. was fantastic, by the way, though. What? It's, the it's nothing, nothing personal. Why I'm did back. They do that? No, it, that's fantastic, though. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It riles everyone up, but then if you're a player, you're like, really? He's think- Are you going to get me to say this? Yeah, he's thinking this could go one or two ways here. Like, if I scored a winner against, <laughs> like, if I scored a winner yeah. against Arsenal, he could put I'm, that on his story. I'm, like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Chelsea legend as well. Yeah. Like, he can ride out in his gold Lambo after the but game. He knows. I think it's worth the risk him doing it, yeah, because he's already just not liked by the Arsenal fans. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that he's done it and Arsenal have won, he doesn't have any more haters. He's just not liked again by the Arsenal fans. He hasn't done any. He hasn't like done no, anything bad for him. Didn't mind him. He fell out of Arteta. Troops loves him, doesn't he? Some Obama who? Oh, he <laughs> loved him. He, he was the troops were saying get Arteta out. No, I, I rate Obama for doing it though. I think it takes a, takes some balls to do. Obviously, it didn't work out too well. Yeah, yeah. And then the still image of him sitting on the bench there like yeah. that as well is good. Saliba. Yeah. Might be. Genuinely, the best centre back of all time. Come five years, he's unreal. Of all time, he's twenty one. He's twenty one. He's twenty one, and I said, he he. Def- <laughs> I saw a tweet. He defends with two way auth- authentication because he he's, he yeah, plays yeah. the offside trap, and then, and then he still catches in. up with you anyway. <laughs> so either way, you're fucked. Yeah. No, nah, he's a. Uh, he's also got the best hairline I've ever seen. Have you seen him and Bellingham have a hairline competition? Have you seen it's dead straight? Have you seen the photo of him from a few years back where he had like the hair, like the spiky up hair, <laughs> no, <I haven't. laughs> what, like young Neymar style? Yeah, but like yeah. pretty much. It's pretty much bang on that. I haven't seen that. Yeah, no. yeah. So that when I first initially seen that, and then I seen him when he actually because he obviously didn't play for a couple of years, did he? But yeah, since yeah. he started playing, I was like, I didn't realize. He's or, a, I wasn't anticipating hey, it. He's a beast. Yeah, he's, he's a beast. Can Arsenal win a league? We said it every fucking week, and it's looking like yes. I think they can win the league. Do I think they're going to win the league? No. I think City are too strong. But can they win the league? Yeah, of course they can. Leicester won it. But there's a long way to go. <laughs> there's a long way to go. Mate, I'll tell you what I've seen. Do you know when Mourinho had that absolutely meltdown season with Spurs? Yeah, yeah. 13 games in, we yeah, were top of the league. We, top came, of the league. we came eighth. 
<laughs> everyone was so, saying you're going to win it. So let's oh, see. I remember that because Bale came back. Everything was looking good. Yeah, yeah. we were top of the league. One, we were, I think we were top at Christmas maybe for like yeah, the first you time You were top ever. for a long time. But we were top 13 games in and we came eighth. So, yeah. so it's irrelevant at the moment. I just can't... The way Arsenal play, though, there just seems to be like... There just seems to be a good vibe around there. Oh, without, the, celebra- seen, the celebrations were good. It seems to good. be like inevitable that they're going to win. Okay. Like, no, I'm I just... At the start of the season, I was like, nah, they'll lose eventually. <laughs> they, they win. Next game, nah, they'll lose. They I win. T- they just keep bloody winning. Nah, I tell you what, I think you're right. The togetherness is a bit mad. Like, the celebrations yeah. from that goal, I mean, Saka thought he scored, which was quite funny as well. Like, running <laughs> off down a knee slide. They'd obviously been tapped in. But, like, the celebrations that are really good. They all do look together. Arteta's obviously got them going. Mm. Maybe, Fan- maybe it's not about tactics. Maybe motivational speeches Vibes. do do the job, yeah. He's just about, about energy. Life. Lads, you're all good. You're all mates. Just get out there and do them. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's fucking go, guys. <laughs> nah, they look, they look good. They look good. But Chelsea had Kante, Koulibaly, Chilwell. All these players James, out. James. James, Fafana. All these players out, which... Nah, they're missing a few. I don't care about. Unlucky Chelsea. <laughs> Part of the season. You've got to keep your players fit. But next game, uh, Liverpool Spurs. Liverpool Spurs. Spurs Liverpool, sorry. Spurs Liverpool. Yeah, um, did you go? I didn't go, no. Why not? I gave up my season ticket when we had Nuno, <laughs> <laughs> and, and then and then we signed Conte, and I was like gutted. But I mean, performances have this do you season. S- do you sign a manager or do you hire a manager? Same thing though. Do the managers have release clauses nowadays? Graham Potter. Yeah, had a Potter, release got, clause. Potter literally got bought out for like yeah, seventeen yeah. million pounds or so, whatever it was. Yeah, again, same old story. Tottenham only played one half. Yeah. What a half it was. Yeah, like. it's great. Yeah, great yeah, if they just played like the whole game, they'd have won. Oh, that's mental, isn't it? But like the thing is, yeah, we've we've played really poorly in a lot of games this year and won. So like we, we we actually played quite well against Liverpool and obviously have lost. But I think there's positives to take from it. Definitely, Kulusevski coming back and getting an assist after ten seconds. Well, even though I mean, even though Liverpool won as well, what on earth is going on with Trent? Like, yeah, what I is mean, happening? Like he, he, that was a stonewall penalty that he gave. But why is he doing that in the first place? I don't understand. Yeah. I mean, it didn't get given, but if it did, boy, he's in trouble. Sessegnon's he, never, Sessegnon's never scoring from there. Ever. Yeah, but so why is he? Why is he? Doing yeah, no, he didn't. He didn't. Pushed him over. I'm pretty sure it's him who gave the ball away. As to start the day with. before, Cancelo got a straight red for the same thing. They're I get it's in a different position. They're similar, thing, but if you give one as a foul, my the, my my, my rule on. Like penalties is this: if it's a foul in the centre circle, yeah, it's a foul in the box. Yeah, it should not That's matter whether it's a goal opportunity or goal scoring opportunity or not. Whether oh, it's not that big a foul to give a penalty, it's a foul. If you're going to call it as a foul, it should be a foul. The same guy that sent off Cancelo in the VAR room was, same, was same on ref. VAR again. Same ref, yeah. Same ref. Same, what's, what's same ref. Of? Dave England, I think his name is. That was yeah. It was the same ref. It's just no. Like, consi- but shouldn't the guy be watching the VAR room thinking? Oh shit! I gave that one yesterday. What, nah, what do I fuck do it. Here? What do I what do I do here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no, it's, it's Liverpool. I can't give that. Nah, yeah, and it, so yeah, that as well, and then Dyer's obviously just being an absolute meathead trying to like head it back to Larice, like, <laughs> like yeah. things didn't go our way. So I, I think there's positives to take from it still. But Trent, tr- we proper overloaded him as well. That's the thing. Like mm. that was you could tell it was a tactic. Yeah, definitely. Like just get him stretched out. Mm-hmm. Who was it that who megsed him? Who was it? Perisic in the game. Perisic. It's Perisic. Yeah, he just like just out outran him. Perisic the, outran him. Forty nine year him. But Perisic, he's Perisic is a good player. To be fair, no, he's class. He's a good player. Well experienced. Just made Arnold look like a kid. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, look, Liverpool. It's Doctor Tottenham, isn't it? Liverpool hadn't won an away game all year. It is the history of the Tottenham. It's it's, it's the history of Tottenham. <laughs> it's the it's shock, yeah. Like if if something hasn't happened, you're the best the best fixture you could ask for is Tottenham. Like, do you remember mm. when Joe Linton was was a terrible, terrible striker? Yeah, he scored. He'd, he'd, <laughs> he'd only scored two goals in the Premier League in like fifty odd games, both against Spurs. Mm. I like, feel the same we, way about West Ham though. Yeah, like when we when we just like Everton haven't won a game all season, they're and, absolutely and terrible. It's, and it's like, like just oh, beat us one 0 Yeah, no, it, that's what that's what it feels like being a Tottenham fan. Yeah, like, I think heart, it's quite similar. I feel like West Ham life. and Tottenham are the same club, but Tottenham just think they're sort of like. I mean, they could be the same club. You have the potential. Yeah, but you've got the same similar size fan base, both in London. Grounds. Similar size stadium. Both win fuck all. Actually, West Ham won more trophies in the last 10 years than Tottenham. Playoff Champ- final. Championship. We're Playoff final in yeah, okay. 2012. Wins a win. So, in that sense, we're West Ham are the bigger club? 
City won in the last minute with a Haaland penalty. Like literally the 95th minute. But oh my god, how was that a penalty? Yeah, De Bruyne are proper. What has, what's football become? I saw a replay of it and I was just like, what? You know, is this you, what we're doing nowadays, really? A few, a few episodes ago, you were talking about Harry Kane, Hazard, Pen Sterling, Pen like like winning fouls. He has just bought that straight up, bought yeah, it. Yeah. Like there's there's contact, yeah, but he he went upwards. He's like, he went span. Yeah, and it's he just did like a pirouette. It's soft as hell, isn't it? And then yeah. Haaland nearly missed the penalty as well. Like it was a terrible, yeah, yeah, it was a terrible penalty. Feet, it was yeah. a terrible penalty. Is Haaland a flop? <laughs> yeah, I'm not having him. Start of the season merchant. <laughs> half, August half, merchant. Half season wonder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, but um now you described Arsenal earlier as inevitable. That's man that's Man City, mate. You just knew it was coming. Yeah, that's Man City. He scored a dis he's he scored a one that was disallowed correctly for offside yeah. about five minutes before that. Yeah, yeah. But he, um he's a robot. Do you know what I'm actually fifty fifty now between City and Arsenal? No. Fifty fifty. Yeah, I am. What's the points difference at the moment? It's like two, one Arsenal or two points. Arsenal came like second and then just got knocked out of every cup. That'd be great. Arsenal, they've got meltdown in them. If City, if City lost two games in a row, you would not be going, "Oh, our City done, our City, yeah, yeah. our City done." If Arsenal lose two games, you like, know, like that's the t- in, that's the in only a week. City would lose two games and then win the next twenty. Oh yeah, they'd, they'd put Bournemouth fifteen behind Bournemouth, <laughs> like gar- like guaranteed. You know, if City lose. Their next fixture is always against a promoted club. Yeah, it's, it's a fact. Like, yeah, it is, isn't it? We beat them three two last year, and then they just humped the shite out of Norwich. Like <laughs> next game, like it was like, like <laughs> it's just how it works, mate. Yeah, it's just how it's, it uh, works. It, so we we are two weeks. We've mentioned before we're two weeks out from the start of the World Cup. Twelve twelve days. Fixture list is f- is cramped. Players are crying out every week saying stop playing us so many games what turns up tonight the fucking Carabao Cup come on Mickey Mouse right. Cup end it cancel it I'm saying just just straight, what, straight up like, like now or for future seasons forever forever what's the point in it no one cares no Genuine. one cares have West Ham ever won the League Cup nah well not that I know of mate I'm not a real no. fan but well, you've, so you think just scrapped the whole I've, Carabao Cup yeah I think scrapped the Carabao Cup because same no teams one cares, it? and it's it's just like it's always just prem teams winning it. You know, I mean, you can say the same for the FA Cup, yeah. But at least you, you at least you get huge crowds to FA Cup games because it throws up those big third round fixtures and, you, and those massive giant, giant giant upsets. It's like the whole football pyramid. This is just shit. It's it's so, like, yeah, it's, so obviously it's only football league. You can't get your you can't get your non league teams going on a run. Like, well, you see, like you'll get a big Carabao Cup game, like for example Arsenal Chelsea, and you think, oh, that'll be good. You turn it on, it's just like the youth teams playing each other. Yeah, so City, beating, City you know? Chelsea tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. And what you don't think... Yeah, with the World Cup, they're probably just going to say, like, please, please, just, please, please just sit me out. Please, Graham Potter. Please, Graham. Don't play me. Please, Graham. But it's a, cha- it's a chance for the other players. Um, yeah, mate, I went, I went to the Carabao Cup final once. <laughs> City v Chelsea at Wembley. Yeah. Like, got given a ticket. Mate, it was the most boring thing I've ever seen. Did it go pens? That one. Yeah, it went yeah, to pens. Yeah. It was one where Kepa didn't want to come off when he was drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you got oh to witness that. God, it was though. so boring. But like after City won on pens, yeah. And you know when the team wins on pens, they usually sprint towards the goalie, whatever. But they were literally just like ambling along, like woo, yeah, we won the Carabao Cup. The fans didn't care. No one cared. It was <laughs> oh, it was useless. At the, at the time, I think City had won. Four, they won like four on the spin. In a row, yeah. They hadn't lost in the Carabao Cup for four years. <laughs> Do you know how yeah, mental that is? It? Forty-eight months in the Carabao Cup, they hadn't lost a game. So what's the point of it? Well, if if City get knocked out, yeah, but then it's the game. Then it's game on. It's an opportunity yeah, for clubs not. like West Ham, Spurs, yeah, Leicester. But we don't, yeah, but no, it's not because we just focus on the Premier League. Yeah, how's that? For, how's that working out? <laughs> <laughs> for, for Premier League fans, it means nothing. For some lower league fans, I think it's a big day out, isn't it? So I don't know if you've seen this, but. <laughs> <laughs> you're a strictly come dancing fan? Uh I haven't watched any of this season. You, but you've been known to oh, I've been known to yeah. like to Argentine dabble. Tango, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. I okay. Saw, I saw so. So <laughs> So Arsenal Twitter Arsenal fans on Twitter who have a huge Twitter presence have like, have basically got strictly come dancing watchers on absolute string. <laughs> because Tony Adams I've I've watched the highlight, I've watched a few highlights, he's clearly the worst dancer there. <laughs> But he's getting voted in every week and saved by 
Arsenal fans who are obviously voting in their droves for him. And like pe- people like my mum will be sitting at home watching it, like throwing her toys out of the pram because because Tony Adams is making it <laughs> so, play every week. Yeah, so the one woman, woman's replied, Jean, <laughs> one of the obviously ladies that has been watching Strictly, Jean has replied saying, "Can't believe the mistakes that were made by Tony Adams." <laughs> Yet he's through to the next week. Definitely not a dance competition anymore. Purely voting because he was a footballer. <laughs> Definitely not a dance competition anymore. He's like the strictly version of the game's gone. <laughs> game's gone. <laughs> but the, the first, yeah. the first, like, bit, first bit of the tweet sounds like they're talking about him playing football. Yeah, anyway, yeah. it's like he makes mistakes every Can't week. Can't believe the mistakes he's making <laughs> <laughs> on a week-to-week basis. <laughs> But um, no, anyway, an Arsenal fan has decided to get into a beef with Gene. <laughs> saying, a footballer? He was a god. <laughs> The only player to win titles in three different decades, give up the booze and been teetotal since 96. What? What's giving up the booze got to do with anything? This is what I mean. What has this got to do with Strictly? But what's it Why got are to you do voting him through? What's Strictly? it got to do with him being a god? Uh, also runs a sporting chance, mental clinic for sportsmen for 20 years. He's a good person. Doesn't that count for something? What's that got to do with Strictly? No, like, yeah, like, <laughs> they're like, spending their money yeah, there's to l- vote him through. There's it's lovely, brilliant. There's probably lovely people on Strictly, but they're fucking terrible at dancing it's a brilliant crossover mate and it's gonna, it's getting worse and worse every week he goes through and every week Arsenal fans what, what was the what was that Arsenal fans name him and Gene do you reckon they like reply to each it other it was on a week, week? Gunnar <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But so him, him talking Golden about Tony, Gunnar, him yeah. talking about Tony Adams winning it in three different decades he's he's seen him I bet he's never seen Tony Adams play football yeah probably yeah that's what you get like, but the I Liverpool ho- fans are like 20 that say like Dalglish is the best player they've ever seen yeah it's like you're, you're <laughs> chatting shite mate no oh great. who's your favourite player in the world mate Pele yeah. no you're chatting, you're chatting I, didn't, I didn't know that Strictly had this underworld of like diehard hooligans <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope Adams wins it mate I <laughs> hope <laughs> there's like Strictly fans that go every week like season ticket like you, you go into game Saturday <laughs> what don't go down sorry mate you're going down to Strictly no, <laughs> just, just don't go down to King's Head and watch it yeah, yeah. <laughs> who do you reckon is going to do well in that tango then <laughs> <laughs> in that tango <laughs> yeah Adam's got a chance you know new yeah. gaffer yeah he's looking, he's looking in good shape yeah you know dance of two halves you know <laughs> made a few mistakes in the first half of the dance luckily uh, Craig Revel Hall didn't see him we got away with him <laughs> <laughs> you watch it every week don't you mate I rate it you watch it every week <laughs> <laughs> no I don't watch it a isn't, lot mate isn't no there, do you know what if it's on you'll watch it I'll watch it isn't there, isn't there a week where they go up to like Blackpool as well? Yeah, yeah, and that's that's yeah. like their like when that's like the pinnacle of yeah. Blackpool room dancing. Yeah, and you just like got Tony Adams stands with their stonies on and their balaclavas like going that's up like to Blackpool. That's like their Augusta. It's, like <laughs> Augusta. <laughs> it's unreal, mate. Ten red cards in the Argentinian version of the Community Shield. Ten. Yeah. Did you did you what do you make of this? Well, like, how do you get ten? Ten. It must have been well, a brawl. It, I've, I've I've seen like the snippet. You know where like. It shows like yellow, red, like who scores goals and etc. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that nine of the reds, maybe even ten, maybe even all ten of the reds, were within like two, three minutes of each other, in extra time as well. So it's obviously just like got out so of control, wasn't you it? You haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. But ten red cards, mate. But I imagine it's incredible. I'm gonna have to look it up. After. Yeah, we'll have to look. Like it must be like a proper. And you know, I've I've seen some fights over there. Yeah. It, it's not like Premier League. It's not like all chest. Push. Oh, it's, oh, it's yeah, mate. It's, it's, like, yeah, it's a full on scrap. Go to scrap Premier League move is the chest push. Yeah. No one ever does anything else. No, they will be Maradona fly kicking people yeah, in the yeah, back yeah. and like elbows thrown. Mate, I, was, I, I think back in the day in Colombia, um, a player like scored an own goal and someone ran the pitch and shot him. <laughs> mate don't laugh I've seen the one God rest his soul I've Please. never been sent off you know no, no never no what's, what have you been carded yeah I've been carded what's the but... worst yellow I've been I got carded for something a couple of years ago yeah I was standing in a one man wall and he fell a bit of the ball at you no I'm waiting for the free kick to be taken midfield it's not like he's going to cross it in yeah. I'm going to shoot um, so I'm in a one man wall never going to hit me rest blowing the whistle for him to shoot I'm standing there Dress blind the whistle again, said stop, the kick taker, just walked up to me and booked me. And I've just been standing there doing nothing. Well, did you must have walked forward in some way. I didn't move, mate. I literally <laughs> did not move. I had to pay a tenner. And I was saying to the ref, I think I was like, what was that for? And he was like, you know what you did. Oh, yeah, but if, it, uh, if you'd have like, spoken anymore, it could have second yellow. Yeah, you, that's mate. what he said. He said, I'm Descent. not going to I'm not gonna go into it now. If you say yeah, one more thing, you're getting a red. And I was yeah, like, I, well, I, I didn't do anything. The thing is, like, amateur, amateur referees, yeah. <laughs> referees are hard job. They have to do double down. Re- referees, referees are a hard job, yeah. I refereed a, a vets game at our club a few weeks back. Oh, my God. Yeah. Why'd you do it? 
uh, 40 quid. 40 quid? 40 quid. What, in the pocket. Game? Yeah, yeah. Show them beers after. But, mate, it's so hard. Like I, I'm, I previously would always give refs a bit of stick, not like dig up, like dig a mouth properly. Re- but the, mate, the, the, the game I played so in, the game I played in on Saturday, the way people were talking to the fucking ref. Oh my god! Like effing and blinding, or mate, yeah, like just flinging out personal insults to him. Like, mate, it was ridiculous. Mate, it's, it's so a, like, and, and then like you had this bloke on the sideline with his kid, like their manager had his kid on the sideline, and the kids started doing it as well. And I was like, what, mate? I was like, when you say kids, you, you mean like 17, no, 18? Yeah, he was, no, he was like seven or eight watching his dad's <laughs> match and the kid was just flinging abuse at the ref. It comes to the point where I'm thinking, if I'm the ref there, I'll just cancel the Abandon it. Just get the red so, out. Right then, see you later. Like the Argentina, yeah, why Argentinian you just community shield off? just said, look, I've had enough. But it stems from everything, mate. You've got, like, you've got to send people off for that. They can't be doing that. Even amateur football. Like, you wouldn't go into like a pub and just call a random bloke a dickhead, would you? <laughs> so yeah, why but, are you doing it just because you want a football but the, but the ref is, isn't also kind of, or oh, the guy in the pub, sorry, isn't like making decisions about what you're doing right now, is he? He might do. He might be. I mean, like, oh, mate, right, can, so I, can I just get a pint of right. still, please? Right. He's like, no, it's harder for you. Then yeah. you might be like, what are you doing? <laughs> are you doing but like, he, that's not quite the same. All right, what if he's just not serving you? Yeah, I mean, you what can if call he's like you served like two people in front of you. You can you call go, him a dickhead. You can call him a dickhead. Yeah, you can call him a dickhead. But you'd expect to get cut, kicked out of the pub. Yeah, in the pub. Exactly. You, cause but in football, there's no repercussions. You can call the ref a dickhead, and you just nothing will happen. Yeah, he just carries on, just carries on refing, doesn't he? Grassroots football is in the mud. <laughs> 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 Right, so it's time. You're lucky because you haven't been on this before. First time. So this is Hater of the Week. <laughs> if you haven't watched the show before, it's where we pick out the our favourite hateful comments. The most creative. Don't try and don't write hateful comments on purpose because you won't get picked. You can tell. Anyway, <laughs> my the first one I got is from Instagram. <laughs> on the video of me making a comment about Man- Manchester United. Again. Yeah. Um, from P King, 077. We are going to tag you. Um, his name is Paul King. He commented, "Where did about me? Where did they find this bellend? <laughs> where did they find this bellend with his dick dastardly eyebrow?" <laughs> Oi, bell- bellend is such an aggressive <laughs> word, is, isn't it? Like, where did you yeah. find this bellend? Was he stealing refresher bars out of <laughs> seven-year-olds' trick or treat bags? <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, that's very good. Um, that's I mean, very good. I, 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 I did actually reply to that. I just said, Jesus Christ. Cheers, Paul. <laughs> Next one we've got on TikTok. <clears throat> Andy, Jeff, Charlie. Three names in one. Like Trent Alexander-Arnold. Three first names. Yeah, but his name's Andy, Jeff, Charlie. I don't, that's, <laughs> that's not his name. <laughs> Your last name can't be Charlie. Can it? Anyway, this is on a video of me making a comment saying I don't care about goalkeepers. It was a bit tongue-in-cheek, you know. Obviously, I do. But... Um, <laughs> Yeah, we were having a laugh, and he's um, he's taking it seriously, and he's written um, incredibly patronising and not thinking it through. Every successful team has a top keeper: Man United, Schmeichel, and Van der Sar, Chelsea, Czech, etc. It's a joke, mate. It's a joke. Just mate. don't don't take it too seriously. I, f- I think we offended a lot of goalkeepers. Right. So I, I, me and Luke playing the same football team, as you know, yeah. Yeah. I actually live with our goalkeeper. He's, <laughs> he, he, he's my roommate as okay. well. And then obviously, so you said you said whatever you said, like I don't get goalkeepers. And then Luke just sits there in the back and goes, yeah, I don't even care about their their actual well-being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then, so he's like obviously and showing me that. then he had to face the goalie on, on Saturday. Luke played in goal for us also about three weeks ago. <laughs> did, he tell you, did he tell you this? Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He had a stormer. He actually yeah. genuinely had a stormer to be fair. Okay. But Luke, Luke is an, also a goalkeeper now technically and he sat there and gone yeah i don't care about their actual well-being but he, maybe he doesn't care about his own well-being no we can we know that well, he doesn't already. have a haircut for we, we the know that we know that already when's the last time you've seen him because he's got a mullet now by the way have you seen the mullet <laughs> well i saw him like last time we filmed i guess so i haven't actually seen the mullet yeah he, yeah no he's right so it's even worse than it was previously he has a mullet well that's been another episode of the dugout cam thank you so much for coming mate you did a great job thank you, mate. first episode fantastic guys if you're listening thanks for listening if you're watching thanks for watching uh, stay tuned don't forget to like comment subscribe get those comments going on the tiktok yeah need as some well. more need some more, need some more week. comments yeah, subscribe yeah. on spotify and give us a download please if you like what we're doing just uh just do it are we close um, to a milestone on tiktok i think we've got 100k followers on tiktok now which is pretty big we're raking in the cash so anyway <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll catch you next week every wednesday, every wednesday. Oh. <laughs> nice one. Okay,